Old Ethan Couch has been transferred from a juvenile detention center to an adult jail, law enforcement says. Prosecutors say they requested the transfer because, quote, he is no longer a child. Back with us, Lisa, David, and RJ, and joining us, John Cardillo, Cardillo WJNO, and syndicated radio host, former NYPD officer. Lisa, is, is this procedure as usual? The kid's not 18, and he's not 17 anymore, right. he's an adult. He's not 19, but... He's an adult. Well, looks, listen, in some places in the U.S., we put kids under the age of 18 in adult prisons. And thanks, I think that's terrible. And there's a lot of human rights groups that are opposing that. But in this case, he's 18. He can go to the big prison with the other adults. He is legally an adult. R.J., you agree? Yes, unfortunately, that's true. I mean, there's a psychological problem from this perspective that when you're 16 and 17 and you go to a juvenile facility, there's a big difference between a juvenile camp and an adult center. It's quite shocking yeah. to the senses. So... I know what he's going through, but unfortunately, he is eligible. And, and the juvenile camp is more about rehabilitation, right? Yes. The, the adult is more about punishment. And I, listen, the, who, I, the, the other guy that ought to be punished is whoever came up with this affluenza idea. Could, please, uh, that, don't you agree with me that whatever psychologist you know, got up on a, on a, on a, yeah. uh, under oath and talked about affluenza really... You know, we've been talking about the Avery case and the injustice of the justice system. When I heard that, I thought to myself, would this fly with any other culture other than white America? I mean, to me, that really bothered me. I think our whole system has affluenza, yeah. right? Our whole system <laughs> yes. uh, rewards the rich and lets them get away with things like this. Now, the sheriff says the, again, I'm not going to, I refuse to, my choke on the affluenza teen sort of title. I'm only I'm willing to say so-called affluenza teen. He's been placed now in a single cell for his own protection. John, let me ask you this. If he is uh, at risk, a safety risk, why move him to an adult jail? Why don't you just keep him where he was? Because he's a savage who murdered four people, destroyed the lives of four families, and he should go to jail for the rest of his life in an adult jail. He did this. He took the drugs. He downed the drinks. He killed four people and destroyed four families. I have no sympathy for this guy whatsoever. I, I,